Hello everyone and welcome back to Satisfactory with me, Avok. Today's episode, we are going to be building a sky bridge, or a bridge, or land bridge, whatever you want to call it, but we're going to be building a bridge. Oops, I really should take this thing out of my hand. Wasting my ammo. Let's reload before I... There we go. Alright. Alright, so yeah, today we're going to be building a bridge. As you can see, I've got on quite a load of concrete, because we're going to need tons of it. And we're going to be building a bridge towards where our oil, oil mine is. Because there's quite a few free veins there. And uh, if this works out right, I'm going to do the same to our coal mine. Then again, once we get this going, we might not need the coal mine anymore after a while, so who knows. But basically the idea is I want to build a bridge that we can have big enough to have both conveyor belts and tractors run on it. And that means multiple tractors if needed. Because we're going to have to bring coal and stuff there. But it might work just fine with conveyor belts. Let's see how it goes. So my idea is to build into that direction, as you can see I've set up one foundation and if you see there where my cursor is, you can just about see an arc there. That is where we're going, that is where the wheel fields are. So, let us work our way there. So, I think today's episode is going to be mostly a time lapse um, while we build this bridge. The question that I have is how high do we go with this bridge? Because either way, I'm gonna s have to bring conveyor belts up to a station or pull the ramp down for the tractors. Let's find out. On this side, I think we're gonna go with a uh, sort of ramp to build. Uh, not quite what I had in mind there. Let's do this here. Yeah, see that that integrates nicely into yeah. So if we build a another foundation there, I think I need to move my shortcuts on these. Yeah, we can get rid of that for the time being. Let's move that one to number four, and we move the ramp to number five. That's more within reach. All right, which now means we need to build that there. And build another one there. All right, this is working. I do want it to be nice and high and out of the way. I have to say the placement of the ramps still isn't great. It doesn't always go where you would think it should go. Um, what I do want to do. Uh, ramp, hello. There we go. Sometimes it works on the bottom one, sometimes it works on the one over <laughs> front of you. Theme. Here we go. Um, yeah, what I do want to do is um, as we go along, or once it's built, maybe go in back in and build support pillars so it just looks a bit more realistic. I think we want to be a little bit above these trees for the time being. Yeah, I think we want to be above the trees. So let's go up two more levels. That was one. And that is two. As you can see, we have a ton of concrete on us. And uh, based on what I have planned, that's not going to last very long. Oh, missed that. Very bright. I don't know if that's... Yeah, that's probably just as bad for you guys as it is for me. It needs to calm down a bit. Yeah, that is definitely... The arc we have mine is, we're just behind that beam there. As you can see, 
This, I think this will work perfectly. I think this is probably the best way to get up to these units and stuff. Building foundations. Calm down, calm down. Yes, kitty cat. Off you go then. Sorry about that. <laughs> Encroaching on another zinc. What? The ruins. Yeah, okay. No, that's not what we want. And now, I think if we go for a small thinner plate, we actually use less concrete. No, it uses the same, so you might as well go for the fake one. It looks better. There we go. Alright, I'm going to time lapse the rest of this and I shall see you guys close to the end, at the end, something like that. See ya.
Alright, and welcome back everyone. I believe that should be about 4 minutes worth of time lapsing, so that would put us at the 11 minutes for this video, give or take. Uh, I could be wrong, <laughs> probably very wrong, but hey, I think it will work. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to get our material to our, what do you call it, this thing. To our RAM and uh, kind of want to do this in two ways bring the stuff over there to you and from here want to bring it to you and in order to do that need to do a double stack here Hmm, but that's going to encroach onto that one, so I'm going to have to build that belt first. So we're going to go with a tier 3 belt, because we are producing steel at a good rate. This will get the stuff off the ground and out of our way. I don't know if it will get it out of the way of our vehicles, maybe we should take it a little bit higher, in case we intend on driving vehicles here. So, Let's rearrange our tabs. So we want that in slot number four. Don't think we need these anymore. So let's quickly clear tabs and put that back there. Okay. So that one's there. Bring that one there. Which means we need to take it from here. To there. We probably don't need the storage facility anymore. Yeah, I don't think we need that anymore. But I. Oh, so that's on the third level, so we're gonna go third level here as well. Shame we can't turn one on top of it. But I. Alright, so we're gonna bring that to here. And then from there we're just going to go regular belt over on. Alright, so we need to now take one next to this. So about here I would say. Mm, yeah, I think that will be good. Because we're going to go four tiers. So we'll be good there. That one. We're probably not going to have enough steal on us to do this. So we're gonna run back and forward and back and forward. But so be it, you know? I just need the stuff to be out of the way in case we wanna do other stuff. But over on the conveyor belt, uh, over here, the conveyor belt is gonna end up effectively being our handrail. Okay, so how far can we take this? I think it will make give the bridge bridge some uh, nice aesthetics if that's the way you pronounce that word. <clears throat> can you make it? Can you make it? Yes, you can. So I think we bring you yeah quite a bridge. All right, then we can just keep going until we can't. All right, so this is our limit. I do want to make sure that when we bring the other belts in, these posts line up. And just make sure we to put that on the grill, yes. Alright, so... There. And this is how we're going to transport our things. I've decided against using vehicles for this. Because when we unlock the next tier of belts, gee, <laughs> teleportation, um, you can always just upgrade the belt and make it faster and faster and faster. Whereas with vehicles, you're kind of limited to their speed, you need to fuel them, they cause more lag. I don't know if they cause more lag, but when I ride them, they cause a lot of lag, which is annoying. There we go. 
So we're using a substantial amount of steel. What you tell me I'm only using four days. Exactly. One twenty to ninety six. So that is twenty four steel for a max length. So yeah, we're not gonna have enough to make it all the way to base. I don't know if you guys saw this on a time lapse, but those things look very much like eggs. I'm gonna go close on the next one. Okay. Uh, so we can do two more extensions and then we'll be done. Out of steel. We're gonna have to go pick up some more. So this is the only thing where a vehicle would come in handy. See, that looks like eggs. I do wanna try and get to that. But you know, I'm guessing you guys also saw how I almost killed myself. Belt is too long, floor is too steep, can't afford. But this is exactly the limit, so. That actually makes for a very nice handrail. It does look like it's painted. Meant to be like that. Pretty sweet. Alright, let's have a nice little run. Or should I say, I'll see you guys there. Cheers. <laughs> and we're back. Alright. So I've picked up pretty much all the steel beams I had. And I think we're gonna just about use almost all of it in order to do our belt both ways. So that is actually quite expensive. Um, but I do want to work on a steel beam production. I do think it's the best belt or the most cost efficient belts we can do. So that's definitely the way forward and they're nice and fast. You know, compared to the tier 2 ones, it requires a ton of iron to do. Uh, I don't like them. I don't like building them. It's too slow. Where steel beams doesn't take that long. Okay, so we're almost there. Um, this is just gonna stop for the time being at the top of the ramp, and in the next episode, we will build our refinery, and then we will see what we get out of it because it seems like we get quite a few things out of the oil. Alright, so you need to stop right here at the edge. Right at the top. There we go. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the one side of our bridge done. So if we do want to run vehicles on here, there is plenty of space. We can use one side here for one way, and another side for coming back or something. I don't know, we can build a um, vehicle depot on the top of a bridge so they don't actually have to drive downhill but it's possible to drive down this hill I can show you that now um, I don't need to show you, we've driven up all these hills what we need to do now is try and get coal for the time being coal up there um, and I've had a quick look at this and I think we're gonna tap off from our coal that comes into our factory for production and then we're going to run across this bridge thing we got that going on there which means I need to put some more supports in so let's see if we can aim it from here uh, just about I do love how the items fly towards the actual construction point I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so we want to tap off coal. Send it up there. Send it up there. So that's going to be pretty steep to do. So, it's almost worth coming off of the tap here. I don't really want to take from the. F yeah, if we come off the tap here, we will be stealing from this as well potentially. I think we not, might need to put another tap here and then see how far like, we can take it because from there we will be able to go to that I think. 
let's do that. Let's put that in. Uh, we're gonna put in a splitter as close as we can. And then belts. Uh, and we go to there. I don't know if that is gonna work. No, we don't wanna upgrade that belt at a time. Oh, it just fell down. Okay, so we wanted to do the belt from there to the very top there. It's a bit hard to aim. Encroaching? Seems very close. No, it does clear it, so that's not bad. Alright, so that can go to the top there. I don't know if we can actually go any higher on that conveyor. Uh, we can probably go one more higher. But this is very useful, this conveyor stack of things. Especially since it's infinite amount, infinite height. Alright, so today um, I think we're gonna have to put some more up on top of that. And then from there, I don't know. We put uh, something over here, maybe. Let's see if we can find a. Uh, well, we probably need to first see how far we can go. It's a bit tricky to see. About here, and put the conveyor pole. Pretty sure that's not in line. What height were we on that other one? I can't remember. I think it was free, but I think we could go higher now. Alright, let's see how far we can go. So, about here. Try and aim that. How does that work for our aim? Eh, not too bad. We can put it about there. But let's go for 4 again. And we pick that up. Oh, just, 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 just too long. Definitely gonna need to pick up some more iron concrete before we actually build this thing any further. No, sorry, not concrete. Iron and iron rods. Iron plates and iron rods. Yeah, that's not going to make it, is it? It's so close down, my goodness. <sighs> Alright, let's get that in line. About there. Just to check if it reaches. Yeah, it reaches, so we can bring that up. Two, three, four. Alright, so from there, I don't want to try and keep it level, I would say. Put it right on edge. And then from there, we can run up. But let's go pick up some more iron. We're almost at the end of this episode, I believe. <laughs> I hope my calculations is right because it's just, you know, randomly in the head. There's a lot of coal going that way. Uh, do, where do we want to go? Yeah, we want to use a jump pad, it's easier. Run, 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 run. I would like to sing one of my favorite songs that incorporate the words run, but you know, don't want to potentially get caught up on that on copyright. Who knows what will set that thing off? It's a bit crazy. Um, Alright, so we need probably one stack is enough, but we'll go for two just so we don't have to come back. And then we'll pick up some iron rods. We're getting a delivery issue. Almost like we need to overclock these machines. I think we're getting to that point. But we need to overclock them. Can they be overclocked?
Hmm. I don't know. Not sure they can. Or is it only a tier two stuff? These are still tier ones. Who knows? Alright, so we're getting out of there. Boom. And pull down. Or is it these ones that get overclocked? I thought we had overclocking slot somewhere. Anyway. Here we go. So the reason why I'm putting not double stacking them. I thought that at first of double stacking them in the middle, so you have like a divider between your two aisles. But um yeah, since we're not really planning on driving up here. Using vehicles. But now for this one I need to get it in line with this one here, so it's just there on that look. Anyway, so as I'm saying is the reason why we're doing it the way we're doing yeah, I thought about having in the middle, so we, it's like a center divider between your highways. But then I thought it'd be nicer to have these on the side, so it's like a handrail or you know stop you from falling off. I don't know if the vehicle can actually just drive over this. It might actually be able to just drive over this. So yeah, that's where we go. Um, but then if we're not using vehicles. Then these are a way of running there faster. If you run on top of the belt, you run at the speed of the belt. I should that be close too steep. Uh, I just want to say, how's it close too steep there? I'm pretty sure all the other ones finished this side of the joint. Alright, so this one goes here. Hopefully I can still get that in this episode, I don't think it's going to happen. But I want to take out that storage container, and whatever coal is left there, we can take back to our main facility. Alright, there's also a few other things we need to get going. So we can research them, like we need to build those computer parts. But I believe we do need to refine oil in order to build those computer parts. I'm surprised that I can see a lot of room of improvement in this game. Um, they might not do it themselves, but mortars might be able to do it, like what we have in Factorio, where you can make the game a lot more difficult by increasing recipes and stuff. Like, for instance, these barrels. In Factorio, you need to supply the metal plates to build the barrels. You have to build the barrels and then you can oil, you know, barrel up your oil. So, I think that is something that would be quite interesting is actually having to deliver barrels to your oil refined or extractors in order to, to be able to extract it. Or, if you have pipelines. Instead of conveyor belt, you have liquid pipes. Now, I can't see that being a big issue when implementing that. I think that would be pretty cool. So, I'm gonna do a final season episode once we've gotten as far as we can, where we talk about the main question is does this game have what it takes to? Take over Factorio as my number one game, my go-to game when I need to kill time, um, when I'm working away and I'm playing on my laptop, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, I mean, that game used, before Factorio, that game used to be um, Transport Tycoon. I mean, that game is freaking old, <laughs> but it's such a classic, you know, it's just... It, it's such a classic, you just can spend hours and hours on it, optimizing your routes and yeah, I'm not happy with that. That needs to come out. But that needs to be a little bit earlier, so I think it was day now. Yeah, that's been. Yeah, Transport Tycoon was a brilliant game, I absolutely loved it. Really, really good game. Okay, so now I'm gonna have to be careful about this. 
that I take out a storage container before we link this up. So it's this line here. Uh, I think it's there. Alright, so let's quickly pop out that storage container. Yes. We got a load of coal there, so that coal can go back. Alright, and this. Whoa! <gasps> misjust, misjudged that. And this can show you how quick we can run if we're running on top of a belt. Oh. Damn, it just spewed me off there. Alright, that needs to come out. That needs to come out. And we need to go from there. Well, we can't go straight in there. Alright, that's fine. We'll go in there. So we got this container and I believe it's full. And that's why we're not using power at the moment. So we really need to start making use of this. So let's make our way back. And we're going to drop the coal. Actually, no, I don't have time for that. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of this episode. Thank you very much for joining me. And I shall see you on the next one. We did see how quick we can run on this. I mean, that is that is some speed. You see how we fall off this side. Lovely. Alright, so I'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers.